Hi everybody, I'm Jim. And I'm Rich. And we're playing Resident Rise. And I'm, uh, you know, doing some house renovations here. Putting in some flooring. I, on the other hand, have five honeycomb. So I'm going to make my apiarist backpack. Yeah, and as you can see, my tower has finished. Kind of. So, I discovered that a lot of the Thongcraft building materials don't seem to want to register properly in Buildcraft. So, back here was going to be warded glass going up, and these great ward planks didn't get placed. I discovered that the reason these ones did was because they were being placed inside a carpenter's block. Hmm. So. That seems weird. Yep. So we're going to head south this time. I need to get more bees. So we're going to go on another bee expedition. And Franklin is out there working away. Are you going to find a little bee grove? Have you turned on your Pokemon Go for your expedition? I haven't actually really played Pokemon Go yet. I understand what kind of person that makes me. And... A dull it, one. No, 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 no. I know lots of, like, real adults who play Pokemon Go. You are not one of them, but, you know, you, you get what I mean. Yeah, I'm no, not No, really I just... I just haven't gotten around to it. I've been too busy um, since I got back from vacation to, like, like, trying to get back into my old routine to introduce something new to it. Now see, I got talking to one of your, your uh, co-workers. They said that you can actually hit Pokestops from your office. Oh yeah, there's like three po My office itself is a Pokestop. Like the building that I'm in is a Pokestop. You've got like five or six Pokestops just on your walk to work. I know. Um, I guess, So it's not for like lack of opportunity. It's just sort of lack of energy, really. You make like, it's sad. just one more... It's like one more thing I have to do when I'm already trying to... Mm -hmm. Do a bunch of things. Yeah. But yeah, you, you kind of make me sad, man. I understand. Yeah, no, I make myself sad. I, like, I see a lot of people having a lot of fun with Pokemon Go, and I'm like, I could do that. You could. That is that is a thing I could do. I have see. the opportunity. I just don't yet have the will. Have but you even installed it? I have installed it. I just haven't set up anything with it. So what you do is when you go to the market... It should just turn it on and go. Yeah, I understand that there's a go portion to Pokemon Go. Yeah. Okay, so this is done. I'm gonna pick this stuff up here. Oh no, right. That needs a pickaxe. Hey, harpies! I'm working here. <laughs> Things to add to my list. Walls. I kind of want to just line the B fence with grinders. Well, I plan to put up defenses like a moat of liquid death. Yeah. Like we're we're way past punji sticks now. Yes. Alright. Just keeping an eye on my jetpack fuel. I love upgraded jetpack. Have I mentioned that lately? Nope. Because I do. I like walking? You don't. I really don't. Not even for Pokemon Go. I try and sit at home and let the you know the Pokemon uh, come to me, but it doesn't work. Oh, like or do you do the like GPS spoofing or whatever? No. Oh, okay. Because Twitch started banning people for that, eh? Who were streaming Pokemon Go while spoofing. Yeah, because they're like anything that's against the game's terms of service is against our terms of service. Yeah. Well, I we will shut down your. your yeah, your I wasn't stuff. streaming Pokemon Go anyway, so I'm pretty sure I was safe. Yeah, uh, uh, well, I'm Franklin stopped. Hmm? Franklin stopped. Okay, I understand why Franklin stopped. I'll fix his life when I uh, get back. But thank you. Franklin has no life other than what you tell him to do. That's not true. Franklin enjoys dancing. Yeah, when you tell him to dance. Well, when I ask him to dance. Well, bees. 
pretty sure that's bees. I love the clay and the red sand. If we didn't live in a desert, we would live out here. By the way, if we didn't live in a desert and lived out here, we would still have the exact same monster problems. Yeah, monster problems seem to be a thing in Minecraft. Particularly in... Oh my god. I landed for five seconds and there's just non-stop harpies and cockatrices. Yeah, particularly in deserts on this server. Oh, goody. Uh, uh, More trees to chop down. Right, there's that desert village. So this... Oh my god. Look at her. Her butt it is so big. Well, I don't know anything about butts, but those trees are fucking huge. I like big tree. Wait, what? Where are you? I'm in the mining world. If you're anywhere oh, okay. near home, you should come take a look at these. I, I am not. I will look at it from your. Uh, your oh, holy shit. This is going to be one of those instances where I just want to kill myself chopping down these trees. Dude, get a lumber axe. I have one, but they don't always work right with Thomcraft trees. Oh. Oh, good. It did work properly. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is I want to get enough honeycombs to make a chest, too. Like an apiarist chest. That way we've got... Um... A spot specifically for bees. Holy crap. <laughs> um, no, no, trying to chop this one tree down. There was so much wood in it that only cut half of it down before it broke my lumber axe. <laughs> Damn. I will be back uh, to pick up the rest of the wood after I go and fix the lumber axe. Because even if you have repair on one of these things, if they fully run out of, uh, like, if they get become fully broken, they don't properly repair until you use one of their materials. Yeah. Uh, that's why I've got the RF stuff instead. Well, I didn't expect my lumber axe to just break like that. Wow. These trees must be large. Oh, yeah. Do you need me to come by with my super RF lumber axe? No, I just need to repair mine. I hear you laughing. Um, no, you're not I, laughing uh, with me. You're laughing at me. I, I, I was going to go with a skeleton told me a funny joke, but no, you're right. What kind of funny I, jokes do skeletons tell, anyway? Uh, skeleton humor's got no stakes. That's the problem. We've just got no skin in the game. Yeah. Oh, something I meant to ask you about your uh, your trip to Sheep and Hobbits land. Yeah, my trip to Scotland. Did you take your moose puns with them and tell them all? Tell them all no, no, the moose puns are strictly a Canadian tradition. Well, I no. thought you were going to share it with them. That was one of those things that I thought about doing, but I I wound up not. I was also. I only have like 30 good moose puns and I use them all. Like. Surely you're mistaken. And that's one of them. That's a good one. It is, but, but like, the problem is that there's only, like, there's probably, I don't know what, a hundred great moose puns in the English language. You need to pick up more languages. And probably, uh, like, 500 more that nobody care about, cares about. Yeah. He almost blew that one. Yeah, I did. I'm just like, ah, yeah, no. I spend it instead um, making up the history of Scotland as I felt. Oh, okay. Um, which in itself is entertaining. Did you tell your version of the William Wallace uh, saga? Yeah, did you know William Wallace uh, wrote Paddington Bear? No. Yeah. What the fuck was crazy about Marmalade? Loved it. Yeah. No, I went to the Wallace Monument. We did a video on the... It's on the channel. About, uh, as well as one on my own personal channel. And... I almost felt yeah. quarry. It was a good time. 
while I'm out here, I want to kind of see what they've all managed to stick in this warehouse. I'm emptying some things out of it. Not the one out here. In the mining world? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you emptying from the mining world? Ender chest. Wait, where the fuck did you set this up? It's underground. When the hell did you do this? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I rem I have a memory of doing it. That could but... explain why there's no ore out here. Oh, man. It would, wouldn't it? <laughs> Finally, I got you. Holy yeah. shit, there is one. <laughs> I told you. What the hell was that? Oh, it's a Dillahan. Uh, oh, yeah. Are uh, you back at the base yet? Oh, God, no. I'm oh. way out in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Maybe it's a good thing. Why? What are you up to? Uh, that's... Well, it's just something that happened while you were gone. Uh, okay. Yeah, there was an incident. Things had to happen. Well, um, you, you know, since, you be... since you were as lord of the castle were gone, the, the court wizard had to deal with something. Can you be more specific about the nature of that something? Um, you know, for our, for our paperwork? Well, I don't do paperwork. I'm aware, but I have to do all the paperwork on the castle. Who do you think pays taxes on that thing? Peasants. Point being, what happened? Um, well, we may have some guests in the castle. The you know, there, there, there was a rash of burglaries and stuff at a local village, and there was all these talks about copping off. What did you do? Well, I didn't technically do anything. They were, they were talking about chopping off people's hands for punishing for thieves and stuff. So I thought a better punishment, well, uh, well, I'm thinking of a better punishment, so the... The criminals are kind of in jail. We have a jail? We have a jail. We're not that kind of state, man. Are we a state? I guess we are. Damn we have citizens. We have citizens. We have a jail. Okay. Yeah. So I've, I've, uh, I've, got, I've got some guests staying there right now. I'm trying to decide what to do with them. I recommend releasing them. But then they'll get their hands chopped off by the angry villagers. No, I'm sure that we can uh, put them in some kind of protective custody. Wait, we protect criminals now? Yes, we protect everyone. Criminals don't lose their citizenship just because they're criminals. But don't criminals get punished under law? Uh, no, we have a, a restorative justice system. God. Wait, we have punishing a proper... criminals? That's barbaric. We don't we don't like punishing them won't unsteal things. It just sort of makes us feel better in a creepy sadistic way. I like creepy sadistic things. Yeah, and yet, here we are. You, you, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm kind of liking the whole keep them in jail thing, you know? All right, we'll keep them in jail for now until um, such a time as I can figure out a way to release them. Not to self, go make some adjustments to the jail. <laughs> Maybe put in a guard or two. Hey guys. Yeah, hanging out. What? Back in your cell. You know, I'm taunting oh. the prisoners. That's good. Yeah. And they'll help you build a rapport with them and remind you that they, too, are sentients with needs. I mean, the real question we want to ask is, why are they stealing? Mm, probably what not need do, What need for them does stealing fulfill? And in that context, what need are we not fulfilling to them for them as people who are responsible for their livelihoods? We're not killing off their excess population fast enough. Uh, no, I don't think that's it. No. Uh, no, you're thinking of cows. Yeah. Villagers are different from cows. Yeah, I know. It takes longer to breed them. It's 
assume if you throw villagers into the smell tree, they turn into emeralds. I do. Do you know how I know that? Because I've told you. Mm-hmm. I can demonstrate. Do not. Are you sure? I'm sure. But think about the emeralds. I don't need emeralds. What if I need emeralds? Then we'll trade for them and participate in an economy. Uh, I found a weird structure you might be interested in. Oh? It's a giant, like, six pillars of dirt with a little towery thing at the top with a hobgoblin inside. It's, it's this huge watchtower. Why is there a hobgoblin in one of those? I don't have a good answer for you. Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Looking for more beehives. I'm coming home, by the way. Okay. I'm going back to working on my tower. I could probably use some ladders. I should get around to that. At some point. Eventually. <laughs> I can tell you're just super on board for it. Oh, I just hate having to place flooring on top of air. I also need to get around to building up some kind of fencing. So you'll stop having harpies in your tower? I haven't actually gone inside yet. But I don't have a door yet. So if you're planning on releasing those villagers in the castle jail, what am I going to? What am I going to? What do are you going to what? I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. I, and, uh, what do I? Do what were you going to do, do with them now? You were just going to well, leave them in jail. I don't know. Like, what if I have to experiment on stuff? What am I supposed to use for that? Uh, well, I mean, you're not authorized to experiment on villagers anyway, as because as you pointed out. You're in a position to enforce justice on them. Well, not if you're constantly releasing them. Bep, bep, bep. You put them in jail. Yes. Which means you are in a position to enforce justice. Right? You put them in jail because they did something bad. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, that means you have an obligation to ensure that that justice is actually just. Uh, interrupting here, just so you know, I think we have a sinister node way down below where you're planning to put your bees. Is that bad? It's turning in part of that section into an eerie biome. Oh, cool. I don't know how that'll affect your bees. I don't either. Uh, we might want to drain or move that node at some point. Uh, but, yeah, like, you have an... If, if, if you're in a position to enforce justice, then... Um, you have an obligation to ensure that that justice is just. Uh, at no point would experimenting on them um, be just. Are you sure? Yeah. What defines it? What defines what? Just. Let's go with basic human rights. Um, they're emerald people. They're not human. What? Sure, they're sentient, though. Well, I'm pretty sure the harpies are too. You see me killing them all the time. Uh, harpies are at least hostile. Well, these guys were hostile. I'll tell you to what. I'll tell you what. If you can definitively prove a villager trying to kill you, I will at least consider it in a weighted measured court in law. They seem to try and stick, uh, stick their golems on me. Mm -hmm. Is that before or after you start killing them? makes you think I started anything. I'm going to do you a courtesy and not answer that. But, yeah, no, I mean, let us assume that because villagers are sentient, and we know that they're sentient because they have an economy, you can, you're capable of trading with them. Um, that we have some... I don't some recall trading with them. But I didn't say that you personally traded with them. But they have an economy and they can be traded with. So not only are they sentient, they are peaceful. I don't 
know, this all sounds suspicious. In what sense? In the sense that it keeps you from doing a thing that you want to do? Yes. Yes. That is uh, irrelevant. That's very relevant to me. Yes. (laughs) Things that are deeply unfortunately true. Because I want to is not necessarily a good reason to do something. Well, I mean, as an almighty wizard, can I be a dictator? You aren't an almighty wizard. Yet. Um, time, I'm getting there. And the answer is not whether you could. The, the question is whether you should. Yes. On what grounds? Uh, because I can. So what you're saying is... Um, force justifies uh, means. In Minecraft, yeah. Sure. Okay. Now let us imagine a hypothetical person okay. who was in a position to exert force on you. Mm-hmm. You know, after you said that, I just had this urge to exert force over top of you before you can attack me. And yet, um, I, I, get, I mean, that's the thing, is is it, it, it doesn't seem super good. No, now you're 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 speaking Jim before he can oppress me. Good fucking luck. You'll have to. I'll retreat to the woods with all the discs from the storage system, and I'll like start a fucking rebellion. I'll build an army. So will I. I get it. Your arrows will blot out the sun. Build an army of golems, and I'll build up my, uh, you know, forces. Mm-hmm. Build up archers and swordsmen. Mm-hmm. And then when all said's done, I'll shoot you once with my, with my crossbow, and you'll die. Will I? Well, we kind of already proved that my crossbow does that. For now. For now. All right, now I have an apiarist chest, and I can go out and take a look at what's going on with uh, Franklin. Oh, have you got a bunch of regular wood as well? Regular wood? Yeah. Like oak planks? Yeah. Yeah, we have about 16,000 of them in the... uh, Oh, okay, because we need more sticks in the storage. I put more sticks in storage, but yeah. I I, I feel that uh, after watching this video, I'm going to get a bunch of very angry uh, messages on Facebook. It's it's not impossible. I mean, you are, like, trying to come up with justifications for oppressing people. Oh, no, he's done. I didn't say he wasn't. I just said he was stopped. Yeah. Now I understand. Cool. Cool. And don't go releasing them. I haven't made manacles to put in their cells yet. You know, you just gotta get the atmosphere all just right. So that was 20 by 20. Um, and we're gonna want... Oh, but you see that spot where the grass is darker than the rest? Yeah, that's the sinister node? Uh, the sinister node's way down below, because I could barely see it with my goggles on. But that's where it's affecting. Mm-hmm. Seems cool. The problem is I'm not sure how to exactly uh, turn it back to normal biome once it's gone eerie. Ethereal Bloom might do it. I'm not sure. I'm not too worried about it. We'll figure it out. 